Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Let's do this today, girls. You see this glowy skin and how it looks? Oh my goodness, this technique is amazing. And Kristen Dominique is the one I saw do both of these I'm going to show you today. I really love the blush one at the end. You've got to stay to the end. Um, I will link her video below too because she's gorgeous to watch. I don't know how old she is. She's got to be maybe in her 20s maybe early 30s. I'm not really sure, but she's beautiful. And she saw this somewhere else, and it's a model cheek bones. That's, that's what I wrote down, model cheek bones. So in other words, you're sculpting out your face in a really different way. So just keep watching and take notes. <laughs> now, the first thing that we've got to do is map this out on our face. So, I have a heart-shaped face. Uh, so, this, I was really, really happy the way it turned out the other night on Ladies Night. So, you're going to need something like a white little pencil. This is the only one I have. I don't know exactly what she used, but we're going to put a dot, and I've got my notes right here. i got a picture of what we're going to do. And it looks complicated and all, but when you blend it out, it's so, so pretty. So, if you were going to have pictures done, uh, maybe wedding or something, this would be really, really pretty. Now, I wouldn't think it would be good for every day, but, <laughs> but it does make the skin look absolutely beautiful. It does. So, and they call it the model cheek bones. So, you want model cheek bones. That's what we're after today. And Christian Dominique is like perfect at it, so... <laughs> Well, let me see what I can do with it. Now, you're going to have to put the dot. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to make a line here. You're going to have a line here. So, that little dot, the little dot has to be somewhere right in here. I'm just going to do this one side, and I'll do the other side off camera because, you know, it takes a long to do things. And what I'm going to use first is I'm going to use, I'm going to use my NYX. I'm going to use this color. This is WSO1. It's a light color. You can choose anything that's good for your face. Now, I've already contoured under here and blended that out. That was not part of the process for this. So, you could definitely not use a brush and just, you know, use this. Um, but however, she used a brush. So, if you want to use a brush, you can use a brush like this. This is a cream shadow brush. And or you could use a small brush like this if you want to. I think, I guess I was trying to remember what I did the other night. Um, I want to say I just winged it <laughs> like a wing because these are like bat wings. <laughs> so she absolutely started right through here. I think I'm just going to use this. If I look and feel like I need to use the brush, I'll use the brush, but it's all going to be blended out anyway. So you're headed to this dot. Now she has more head space than me, but she did come through here through the eyebrow to the dot and then and then she came from down here to the dot. So it's kind of like a bat wing kind of thing. And there's the dot in the center. Okay. <laughs> and it's kind of cool because she did put dots up here. We have some dots here. And she's had some dots here and dots here. I'm going to go ahead and do this up here like that. But I'll do this other side off camera, like I said. And then we're going to grab our concealer. And our concealer is going to be... Oh, let's do our contour down here. Before we get all this done, let's just map it out. I've already contoured my nose. She didn't contour her nose, so. Um, we're going to start right, you know, you want to put it on the bone right here. So, I'm going to bring it here and here. See how I hold my hand? I keep it steady. And then, we are going to make it like... <laughs> This is so much fun. We're going to put concealer like through here. I've still got to put my concealer on. So let's grab that. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use Born This Way of my Too Faced. I love it. It's really, it's called Ethereal Light. I don't know how to talk in today. <laughs> it's been one of those weeks, y'all. It has been a long week. So you're going to have to take and put this here. I'm going to take it from my mouth up kind of, sort of. Like that. It's going to go underneath it. But this is really, really nice. This one, um, I, this one kind of light refre reflects off of it. Like when you get it done, it's really, really pretty once you do it. So we're going to put some concealer. Let's see, where else do we want to? Oh, we got to put our concealer. I'm doing it on the wrong side. We got to put our concealer through here. Right through there. 
I laughed so hard doing this the other night. It was too, too, and she called it bat wing shape. And that's what I wrote down, the bat wing shape. So, hey, what do you know? And I'm going to put, I like a little concealer here. I don't think she put some here, but I do like a little light in that area like that. It's a lot of lines on your face, but when it blends out, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then we're going to have to put one more little um, contour. She came down um, and put just a little bit like right here coming down right here in that area. So not really sure why she did it like that, but that's the way she did it. And then she just kind of blended everything out. Now I am going to go ahead and put some right here because I do like uh, a little bit of light on my chin and um, I would absolutely put it here, you know, and then I always put a little here because I have redness there and I've already put the, I've already put it in the center of my face. If you need something like a little more highlight, you could highlight right up here if you want to. You know, if you need to lift your brow or something. <laughs> so I'm going to start here and we're just going to start blending. Oh my goodness. Are you ready for this? I tell you, the other night it was so much fun. I um, <laughs> I laughed so hard. I, you know, because I didn't really know what I was doing. But after it got done, it was so so pretty. And then um, I'm gonna add some blush through here also. Let's go ahead and add that blush. I'm gonna add. Um, let's see, what do I want to add today? I think I want to do. Let's do this one. Let's do the Revlon. I, she didn't add any blush, but I, I kind of like to go ahead and do that myself. I'm just going to do everything on this side. I keep thinking I got to do this side right-handed. <laughs> so I'm going to place this right through here. I'm going to put it in between. That way I have some color there when I go to blend out. Um, and I'll put everything in the description box, what I'm using as far as products. Now I'm going to blend from up here, and then I'm going to start right in this area blending. And I was really shocked about how it turned out. It was really, really pretty. Now, I haven't contoured under uh, my under eyes at all. Um, you know how to do that. I'm just, where I, where I would put it would be right here. I've already got my eyes ready for that. So I could go ahead and just let that sit a minute. And we can just go ahead and, I like to blend upward. Don't blend downward, okay? Don't do it, don't do it. I'm so silly today. I have so much to do. <laughs> And it's raining here. And it's going to be cold. So I'm not happy about that. Oh, I love how this looks right here. Oh, it does. It See, it lifts it up so, so pretty. Mmm. I like it. I really, I played with it uh, a little bit more uh, yesterday. Kind of, you know, figuring out where I really wanted to place it. Because your face is going to be different from mine. Honestly, it's going to be different. So I'm going to take this and blend this out here right through here I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and then over now I already have on some uh, elf putty primer I just kind of laid it down and just let it set not a whole lot just minimal 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 but it really does help for it to not settle in your lines you know I have the video where I mixed it and then I'm trying it different ways. So this is the second way. And I really do like it this way because it gives that putty primer time to kind of set. And then you just put minimal over it. And it's so, so pretty. Now, I'm going to go do this side off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, look. Ooh, I just love it. It blends together so pretty. And actually, when you get this down, you could do this fairly quickly. And do your whole face at the same. I mean, it's just so pretty. Now, I am going to use some Laura Mercier little powder, setting powder. I'm going to use her little powder puff. And we're going to press in this powder because we want it to set. Now, you don't want it to move around. So, you know how that is. This thing starts moving. <laughs> As you get older, everything moves. But, I tell you, this past week or so um the age thing has really been on my mind um and i guess it's because i realized i'm on the back end of things now and i don't want to think like that but i see my children and their children and that's where i used to be and i'm like okay well i gotta get used to it the idea that i'm 60 
I don't feel 60. I don't know what 60 is supposed to feel like. Now, I have my wrinkles and all that good stuff, but, you know, you can't help that. You're going to get that. So, I'm going to place some of this here and here. I do like to set the center of my face, my nose, because a lot of times that's where you're going to be touching your face. And you really, really want to make sure that it does not move. And I'll also come under here. I'm going to do a little bit more. Because I did put some contour there as well. Now, see how pretty that is? Once you add this, and I just barely go right over this here. Because I really don't want that. I just want it to play peeky boo. Look how pretty that is. Look, I mean, the skin just is glowing. I don't know. It's cool. And it looks lifted. And that's what I loved about it. Woo, girl. That's, that's a good, that's a plus. When something lifts, <laughs> you know, you have to have that. You have to have a little bit of lift in, in everywhere, you know what I'm saying? At our age, yes, we do. All right, so the other thing that she did was blush. And this was really, really cool. I never seen this technique before, and I thought, oh my gosh, I got to try this. So you're going to need a fluffy brush, and... I, I'm going to use two different colors of blush, okay? I already have a little bit of cream blush on there because I wanted that. But this is totally different. I'm going to do it on this side, and then I'll do this side off camera, but and then come back and let you see it. But here's two different colors. Here's sweet, and that um, is sisterly. The sisterly has a little bit of shimmer to it. So we're going to take both, mix them together. And then what she did was kind of crazy. And mm, I, I might have had, had to touch this up again, but I don't think I will. I've got this pretty much set. But all she did, kind of cool, it's on the end there. She went around her eye like this. And I'm just going to say, this going to move my hair everywhere. I'm just going to say it was so, so pretty because you're adding... And you can go either direction you want. You can go around this way. I went this way because my brows go that way. But gosh, and then my hair is all in the way. It just gave you a, look at that. Pretty, see, it's different from this side and this side. It just, oh my goodness. It just adds a little bit of blush to your face. I mean, like, not, it is blush, but I mean, just color. Just that beautiful color up in this area. All right, I'm going to do the other one. I'll be right back. And one other thing you want to remember is you want to have this come across. Look at that. It's so pretty. You want to have this come across a little bit here, too. Kind of like draping. I love it. It just, uh, blush brings life to your face. Look at that. I love that technique of going around the eye. That is really, really pretty. It just complements the face so much. And one thing I probably would recommend you uh, do, let me put my chair down, um, is wait and do your brows after you do that because, you know, you might have to go back and touch them up anyway. So I would wait. I would do my brows last with my doing this. So I just, I love this. I'm gonna take some pictures and that way you can see those. Oh my goodness, I just love it. It's absolutely, the skin looks flawless. I have contour in my face. I love it. I love it, y'all gotta try it. All right, I'm going to do my final finishing touch-ups that I love. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury. I love this. I'll link it below. It's the Champagne Glow. And it's so pretty underneath the eyebrows. And that's where I'm going to use it. Look how pretty it is. And you don't use much of it. You know, this is going to last you forever. I can't remember the price point on this. It's probably around $40, I think. But, man... It is so, so nice. I love to use it on my lips, too. This, I'm telling you, I love this. <laughs> Y'all got to try it. I'm going to put a little right there. Not a whole lot. And you know what? I'm going to put a little of it on my lips. Yeah. I think that's pretty. Now, my lips are golden, too. So, I hope you try it. I hope you try it. And come back and let me know whether you liked it or not. I am going to set my face with some Revolution. Love this. This is the Fix and Glow. The Dewy Fix and Glow. And make sure you get your Beauty Blender. I'm always looking for that. I have, if you saw the mess here, you would go, how does she do anything? How does she find anything? <laughs> 
half the time I'm looking for some. Spray it. Ta -da! And then I like to dab it across this area here because I want to make sure that this area stays where I want it to. And that's why I push it into the skin. I do the middle. And see, now it's set. And so I don't have to worry about this moving at all. And then the last thing I did is just one little spritz across the whole entire face. <gasps> Gorgeous. Oh, man. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to get it down where it's like a, you know, kind of fast. And I'll be able to do it very, very easy. I really, really like it. So thanks for hanging out with me. Please like and share and click that notification bell. I'm here on Sundays only. You know that. <sighs> One day I'll be on here a lot more. I hope it, <laughs> it comes soon <laughs> before I hit 70. You know what I'm saying? There are some ladies on here that are, you know, in their 70s doing this. They are. I love watching them because they have some techniques that, you know, we could learn from too as we age. Um, 10 years, I'll be 70. So I'm sure 10 years from now, I'll be doing something totally different with my face. I've just been very lucky that my skin's been good to me and and I've been able to continue to, you know, kind of sort of stay the same. I haven't really changed much in my routine. It's ever under eyes, under eyes hole. Because it's, yeah, that all changes through there. So, I will see y'all next Sunday. Please try this. Come back and let me know how it did for you. See you later.